I'm Angela Berger. Welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, I cover true crime cases and missing person cases. So if that is something that interests you, please do subscribe. Today, I am going to talk to you about the shopping cart killer, who is a new serial killer that authorities just learned about recently. This man, Anthony Eugene Robinson, his MO is to meet women on dating sites, and then he meets up with them, beats them to death, transports their bodies in a shopping cart, like a Target shopping cart, and then disposes of them. Um, so this man, 35-year-old Anthony Eugene Robinson, he has been living in different places. He's had a variety of different jobs, but when authorities did like a background check on him, they couldn't find any criminal record. So here you have this man who, in a matter of months, is believed to be responsible for four murders. And authorities think that he didn't just start murdering women you know, recently, that there's a pattern of behavior here and that likely there are more victims that we just don't know about yet. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about the shopping cart killer. At the time of Beth Redmond's murder, she was 54 years old. Beth was born on June 30th, um, 1967. And she had lived in Harrisonburg, Virginia, all of her life. She married a man named Shannon Redman. And Shannon passed away in 2017. Beth had two daughters, and she had four grandchildren who she loved very much. And on October 24th, 2021, she was texting with her daughter, one of her daughters, and her daughter basically asked her, you know, what, where are you at? What are you doing? And her mom said that she was at the Howard Johnson with a friend and that she was watching football. <clears throat> so her daughter then asked her, you know, what room are you in? Um, who are you with? And her mom responded, Beth responded, it's none of your business. So her daughter, you know, just kind of dropped it because Beth seemed like she was having a good time. Um, she didn't act like she was scared or nervous or anything like that. And that was the last that anyone heard from Beth Redman. The next victim was 39-year-old Tuanita Lori Smith. She went by Nita. Now, Nita had six children, and she was last seen on November 19th, 2021. Uh, so when her family didn't hear from her, you know, naturally they became very concerned because it wasn't like her just to leave her children. Video surveillance and phone records led police to learn that the last person that both Nita and Beth had contacted was 35-year-old Anthony Eugene Robinson. And through further investigation, they found out that Anthony had met both Beth and Nita on internet dating sites. And after that, the women on different occasions had met with him at the Moon Inn, which was located at 6100 Richmond Highway in Fairfax County, Virginia. Now, Anthony had been staying here, and once the women met him there, then according to authorities, he did unspeakable things to them. Um, we don't know what those things are, but, you know, you can imagine they were terrible. Uh, the women were both beaten to death, and then their bodies were transported in a shopping cart to Linda Lane, which was like a, it's, it's like a rural area, residential area in Annandale, Virginia. So as the Metropolitan Police were doing their investigation, they realized that this Anthony Eugene Robinson had also been the last person to speak with another missing woman. 
and that was 29-year-old Cheyenne Brown. Now, Cheyenne, she had a seven-year-old son, and she was currently four months pregnant at the time. When, when some, the investigators realized that this suspect, this murderer, was the last person to contact her and that she was missing, they let the investigators that were on that case know. So once they realized that she was missing and the suspected murderer was the last person she had been in contact with, the authorities became, they became very concerned. Cheyenne, Cheyenne had been missing since September 30th. She had gotten on a bus in DC and she, you know, she was supposed to come back after that, but she never did. So cell phone data put her and Anthony in the same location. Video surveillance showed that Anthony and Cheyenne were both at the Moon Inn um, on the night of her disappearance. And knowing that Anthony had used a shopping cart for transporting his other victims, when authorities saw a red Target shopping cart off Route 1 near the Moon Inn, they knew that they had to investigate the area. Um, so they went and nearby they found a plastic container that contained the bodies of two women who had also been murdered. The one body was identified as 29-year-old Cheyenne Brown. The bodies were decomposed pretty badly, but there was a tattoo that said Cheyenne, and that is how they were able to identify her. Her family knew that she had that tattoo. Now, they have not been able to identify the other remains yet, and that's because they're so badly decomposed. Investigators are still working to identify the fourth body that was found. They believe that the fourth victim may be 48-year-old Stephanie Harrison. Um, Stephanie was born on November 9th, 1972. Stephanie was living in Redding, uh, California, but she had gone to Washington, D.C. Last time anyone had heard from her was on August 19th, 2021. The family became concerned. She had grandchildren that she would never leave. They reported her missing to the authorities, and initially authorities thought that you know, she had stayed missing on her own accord and that she wasn't actually in danger. Now, at any rate, she should have been considered missing and endangered because Stephanie suffered from schizophrenia, so that made her very vulnerable, um, especially, you know, if maybe she had been off of her medication. So they really should have been looking into this case. Well, her sister checked Stephanie's bank accounts, and she found out that around the time Stephanie had gone missing, she checked into the Moon Inn. Okay, so remember that Stephanie went missing on August 19th, and Cheyenne went missing on September 30th. So, so around um, this time frame, they both went missing. And the two bodies that were found in this plastic container, they were both pretty badly decomposed, and they were unable to identify the second body. So investigators from the D.C. area going to California to get DNA to compare it with the fourth body that was found. At this point, um, we don't know if it is Stephanie or not. Um, hopefully not, but, you know, it is a possibility because she was staying at the same hotel where Anthony was. Stephanie has brown hair and green eyes. She is five foot five and 150 pounds. On her ankle, she has an outline of a Playboy bunny tattoo. And until there's any confirmation at this point, she is still considered a missing person. Um, so if anyone may have seen Stephanie, you could see her picture there. Anyone who may have seen her is asked to call the Redding Police Department. Um, and this, that's the Redding, California Police Department. The number is 
4200. Anthony Eugene Robinson has lived in New York, Virginia, and Maryland. Um, he has had a variety of different jobs. He has no criminal record from what the police have gathered uh, so far. And that is kind of strange. Investigators don't believe that he started murdering women in August uh, when the first woman we talked about, Stephanie Harrison, went missing. Um, so there was a murder in August. If it is indeed Stephanie, there was a murder in September, which was 29-year-old Cheyenne Brown. Um, Beth went missing in October, the end of October, and Nita went missing in November. The most recent bodies were found, you know, just a week ago. They are calling Anthony Eugene Robinson the shopping cart killer because in both of these instances, he disposed of the bodies using a shopping cart. He used the shopping cart to transport them. They do have video surveillance of him doing this. So, you know, there's pretty much no question that he was responsible. Investigators are looking into other cases of missing women um, to see if there's any women who maybe went missing from that area, from the Moon Inn, um, or, you know, had been in contact with Anthony Eugene Robinson before they went missing. Um, his contacts through different dating sites, if any of those women went missing. They're also looking into murders that happened in the area where, you know, the women may have died um, as a result of blunt force trauma. I wanted to get this case out there uh, because it is a new development and because of the potential of there being more victims. You know, if you follow true crime, missing person cases, and I'm going to be looking into this as well, and if you know of any missing persons from the Virginia, D.C. area, they're even going to look into places that he's lived before, like Maryland and New York, to see if there's there are any um, cases that follow his M.O. They're going to be looking into his contacts um, through the dating sites to see if any of those women have gone missing or were murdered. Because... You know, it's, it's kind of scary. He's gone along this, he has gone along so far without having any type of criminal record. And you just have to wonder, are there more murders? Like, when did he start doing this? At 35 years old, did he just suddenly decide to start beating women to death? So that is something that's scary um, to think about. But the good in this situation is that he has been caught, um, so hopefully that means there will be no more future murders committed by him. Um, he's being held without bond, so no chance of getting out at the Rockingham Harrisonburg Regional Jail. And he's scheduled to appear um, in court very soon on December 27, 2021. If you have any information that could assist in this in investigation, if you have any tips, if you um, think of other potential victims, please call Detective Weatherall at 540-432-7788 or email her at leslie.weatherall at Harrisonburg, Virginia, or va.gov. Put the information... I'll put this information below also. Um, anonymous tips related to this incident or any related crimes can be sent to Crime Solvers at 540-570-5050. Um, or you can text HPD and the tip to crimes, which is 274637. Um, and the last thing I want to add is that um, Nita's family has a GoFundMe set up to help cover her funeral expenses and to also help her children because remember that Nita is leaving behind six children um, who don't have their mother 
and they actually found out, you know, the day after Thanksgiving that she was murdered. So, you know, if you are able to or feel inclined to donate, I will leave the information to the GoFundMe uh, below. So I am curious to see what you think about this case. Um, there's kind of a lot to get into, and I'll be looking into it in the future. And remember, if you enjoy learning about true crime and helping to spread the word about missing people, please do subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!